In this lesson, we're going to look at representing quadratic inequalities in two variables. Uh, in a previous section, 9.1, we looked at representing linear inequalities in two variables. This is very similar, uh, except we are dealing with quadratic. So instead of our boundaries being lines, our boundaries for these inequalities is going to be parabolas. Uh, we're just going to do two problems. This says represent the solution region represented by each inequality. And we want to represent the solution region where y is less than or equal to negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 7. Well, the boundary between where y is less than or equal to that uh, is going to be the parabola where y equals, so our boundary is going to be where y equals negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 7. Uh, and that boundary in this particular case is going to be a solid boundary, which is included because it's included uh, b due to the or equal to sign. Uh, so our vertex is going to be at 1, 7, which is right here. And the negative 2 multiplier, what that does, and you could look back at chapter 3 to review viewing from vertex form, uh, makes it open down and stretches the perfect squares uh, <clears throat> and multiplies them by 2. So in this particular case, I'm just going to draw five points. Uh, it looks something, your boundary looks something like this. Okay? Uh, the reason is, and I, I mentioned before, these distances here are the perfect squares, 1, 4, 9, but they're doubled uh, because, so instead of 1, it's 2, and 4, it's 8, are doubled because of the 2 there. Uh, next thing we have to do, we're not done. This is an inequality. We need to represent all the solutions where y is less than or equal to negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 7. In order to figure out uh, if we shade inside the parabola or outside the parabola, what we do is take a test point. Uh, I'm going to test the point, so as long as it's not on the boundary, it will... Uh, work. We need to take a test point. I'm going to test 0, 0 and test to see if it is a solution of the inequality. So if I test 0, 0, what I'm going to get is, is 0 less than or equal to negative 2 times 0 minus 1 squared plus 7. Uh, if it is, I'm going to shade inside the parabola. If it's not, I'm going to shade outside. So this is negative 2 times 1 plus 7. Is 0 less than or equal to 5? The answer to this is true, so I'm going to shade inside the parabola where the point zero, 00 exists. So the solution to this inequality is this region right here. All right, let's move to the next one. Next one very similar but slightly different in the sense that it's not in vertex form yet. Uh, the boundary in this case is going to be <clears throat> where y is equal to x squared minus 6 and it's going to be dotted in this case because the boundary is not included in the solution region. Uh, two ways to graph that boundary. One is by completing the square which I'll show you. It'll be y is equal to x squared minus 6x. You could put plus 0 if you'd like to. Uh, that might make it easier for some of you to complete the square. And we would add and subtract. And you could look back at chapter 3 again to see and review how to complete the square. Uh, our completed square would look something like this. It would be y is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 9. So our vertex is at 3 and negative 9. And it opens up in typical fashion. So it would look something like this. Uh, an alternative method to graphing this for those who don't enjoy completing the square or just find that that method doesn't work for them uh, in the best way. Sorry, this should be a dotted boundary line. The alternative is from standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equaling 0. Uh, you could use the formula x is equal to negative b over 2a in order to find the vertex. So if I use x is equal to negative b over 2a, uh, my x coordinate of the vertex would be negative negative 6 because b is negative 6 over 2 times 1, which would give me an x-coordinate of 6 over 2, which is 3. And then I substitute it back in to get the y-coordinate, and y would equal uh, 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 0, which is y is equal to 9 minus 18, which is y is equal to negative 9. So our vertex would be at 3 and negative 9, which we've already noticed right here. Uh, so either way you do it, your boundary will look like this. As far as our test point goes, we cannot choose the point 0, 0 because it does not fall within one of the regions. It's on the boundary. So I'm going to choose the test point here, uh, 1, 0, which is not on the boundary. So if I put that into the original inequality, I would have that is 0 less than 1 squared minus 6 times 1, or is 0 less than negative 5? The answer to this is false. Okay, uh, so in this particular case, since it's false, we would shade the opposite of where the test point is, which is the outside of the parabola. 
the rest of this lesson is just summarizing what I've just done. So what are the steps that we follow? Uh, this may be helpful for some of you to write down in note form or just to follow along. Uh, what we've done is, first of all, we graphed the boundary parabola in this case, instead of a boundary line from the linear examples. Uh, you could graph it from two forms. You could either graph it from vertex form, which is y is equal to a times x minus p squared plus q. That would be by completing the square if necessary. Or from standard form, which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And you use the formula x equals negative b over 2a for the x coordinate and substitute that in to get the y coordinate of the vertex. Second step. Uh, is if the inequality sign is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, the boundary is included, and that parabola will be a solid line. Uh, if the inequality sign is less than or greater than, the boundary is not included, and therefore would be a dotted or a dashed line. Uh, finally, what we need to do is decide which side or to shade the half plane that represents the solution region. Uh, to do that, what we do is take a test point, so choose a test point, on one side of the boundary, doesn't matter which side, uh, 0, 0 if possible, it makes the uh, math a little bit easier to do. Then we take that test point, we substitute, and the important thing is we must substitute the coordinates of the test point into the original inequality and no other. Uh, if the test point is a solution, then we shade the half plane that contains this point, or containing this point. And if otherwise, what we do is we shade the opposite half plane.